What is going on YouTube? I am Lamont at large. Today I am at the Valhalla Cemetery once again here in St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm back here to visit the grave of Captain David Dorn. I visited his gravesite about six months or so ago. And I'm back again because now he has a grave marker that I can show. If you don't know who he is, uh, let me remind you or at least attempt to tell you who he was. Uh, David Dorn was a police captain for the St. Louis Police Department. He was a police officer for about almost 40 years. Uh, he had retired and then got a job as the chief of police for Moline Acres, a city a little outside of St. Louis. And on June 2nd, 2002, while the country and the world was almost seemingly being set on fire, some people call it protest. I call it looting and rioting, but I'm one of those silly people that I kind of look at facts. I look at pictures and videos, images. Some people were protesting, of course, but the protesting ends when you start smashing people's businesses in, setting fires, so forth and so on. And during the riots of last year, I want to say right at around a dozen people were killed during those riots from those riots themselves. And while the world looked at this country like we're a bunch of racist imbeciles, Nine young black men were shot and killed in Chicago and nobody cared. Nobody cared. And one of the men that was killed during those riots was Captain David Dorn. He was responding to a alarm. His buddy owned a pawn shop. And when the alarm would go off, he would go and uh, check to see, you know, if it was a false alarm or what have you. 77 years old, went to defend his friend's pawn shop from being broken into and looted. And he was approached by a man, Stephen Cannon, who killed him over a flat screen television. Killed over a $200 television. Could have got a job at Burger King, got a job at McDonald's, could have got a job anywhere, worked for a week and bought the damn TV brand new at Walmart. He chose to kill this man for a flat screen television. Well, this is his grave. This is Captain David Dorn. He finally has a marker, so I wanted to show you guys the marker. I want to say to any and all who are watching this, 
there was like-minded people such as myself who value all life, who doesn't put anybody above the next person. I don't even value personally my life over a raccoon's. And I really mean that when I say that. I am no better than anybody or any animal on the planet. While one man was made a martyr and given a funeral that nobody ever receives. Not even presidents have gotten that kind of funeral. This man was completely ignored by the legacy media. If black lives matter, this, this man's life surely matters too, right? Does it not also matter? Or does it depend on the person involved in the situation? We got our martyrs mixed up. Bad examples. Truly as a society, we are holding up the wrong people in such high fashion and regard. It's almost like I'm in the twilight zone. I don't care to watch too much of the news because it just gets very sad and it gets very disheartening at the end of the day. I feel almost sometimes like I was born in the wrong time. I should have been born 60 years ago before I was born. Maybe I should have been born in the in the 20s. Maybe I should have even been born in the uh, 19th century. I don't know. It's just weird nowadays. But I want... Uh, I wanted to come here to pay my respects. I also wanted to come and show that he, you know, he has a marker now. And I want to tell everybody there is millions of like-minded people in this country and all over the world that know this man's story. And we don't follow the narrative that the others pump out for you to believe. You believe what you want to believe. I'll believe what I want to believe. I'll believe what I want to believe. And sometimes we meet somewhere in the middle. I believe most of us do. Most of us meet in the middle. And we simply agree to disagree. Rest in peace to this man. And my condolences to his children and his grandchildren and his wife. A man that was cut down in the street. And I would, I would say like an animal, except you don't do that to animals. You treat everybody the way you want to be treated. And the same goes for the other side as well. Not every day is supposed to be fair. Not every day are you supposed to be treated fairly. There's always going to be jerks and a-holes in the world. That's never going to cease. That will always be a constant. But if you simply just acknowledge the fact that if you owned something, you would want the next person to not take it from you. All right, guys, I got to go. Peace out.